Welcome to Felton Electrified Systems. And today I'm going to introduce to you the classic electric mini full bolt in kit. Now we're going to go through all the parts that come as part of the Felton Electrified System kit. We're going to start with the rear of the car and work our way forward. So we have a 19 kilowatt hour battery pack in total between front and rear battery pack, which gives us 110 miles WLTP of range, and that's on a full charge. We have a 6.6 .6 kilowatt TC air cooled charger that sits just in the boot of the car, roughly where the fuel tank was. And plugging into that, we have a really nice bolt in fuel system, fuel cap, well, fuel cap, electric cap now, um, which has a type two connector inside and obviously electricity only. This goes for the original fuel port hole. So there's no cutting or modifications to the chassis at all. We have an ECU on there, which does all of our communications between our charge port, our button, our lock pin to meet the UK and European standards. Then we have a DC to DC converter, which sits in the back, which is a one kilowatt converter. This keeps the 12 volt battery topped up a bit like an alternator would on the original car. Moving on from there, we have our under tray. This helps get the car as slick on the bottom as possible, picks up on the front and rear subframe mounts and where the seat bolts go through. So there's no holes added to the chassis at all. Everything is bolting. This contains our HV lines, also our low voltage connectors, which then tie up into the cabin of the car. So we have um, a really nice gear selector that goes in the place of the original, which does drive neutral and you lift up and go into reverse simply just plugs into there. We then have a loom for the interior. Now this has our OBD port for communications. It also has a connection for things like the gauges. And we have a couple of different gauge options. So we have speed cut or curve on, depending on your preference. We then have throttle pedal. So this is an upgrade to the original. It's an OEM Heller off the shelf throttle pedal, but it gives a really good feel when driving instead of the little tiny mini throttle feel. We also slightly change the angle to make it as comfortable to drive as possible. Following on from this, we have brake sensor. So this works in the brake fluid and it allows us to do dynamic regen. So depending on how much of the brake pedal you press depends on how much braking force you get. So if you're in a car that didn't have servo assisted brakes, having one of these in the region on the motor means you get pretty much the same feel as if you had a servo assisted mini. And then to add to the safety, we actually have a crash sensor. So if you ever crash the car, it shuts the HV system down straight away to make it safe for the emergency services to approach. And we're going to move on to the front of the car and we'll come back to the heating system afterwards because this is the best bit. This is the beautiful bit that makes the conversion of this car just over a day for a full conversion. You basically have a full brand new subframe that we supply with the car. And then you have a Zonic 70 in here with a single speed reduction gearbox and a differential underneath. And we then have a liquid cooling system which links into the motor and the inverters. So this is a radiator here with a little small fan and a water pump hidden in there. Links up through top up here. We have the Zonic 70 inverter on the top of here. There are three phases that link down into the motor and are positive and negative from the DC supply from the side of the battery. Safety disconnect, once again, European standards. And then we have a HV connections hidden up under here and a low voltage connector, which ties into the battery management system and all the HV supplies we need for things like the uh, charger, DC to DC, etc. And in hidden into there on this model, we actually have a brake booster system. So this is going into a servo assisted car. Therefore, we still keep the servo assisted brakes. On top of that, we have thought about heating for these cars. So we have a remade mini heater box just here. We also have a new version coming out with some of the kits, which will be a brand new heater box system without a retrofitted PTC. Now, if you're interested in this kit and you want to get your hands on one, we supply business to business only currently, so please drop an email to sales at felton.com and we'll be able to distribute these globally very soon.